Obafemi Awolowo University will soon generate its own power supply and leave the national grid. Vice Chancellor of the institution says this will happen this month when the institution successfully completes its independent power project, which will generate 8.3 megawatts of electricity. Correspondent Rafi Hamid reports. The Obafemi Awolowo University, formerly known as University of Ife, was established in 1961 with 244 students admitted as it first said in 1962. But one of the challenges facing the university is unstable supply of energy. Now, a solution has been found. The university is now building an independent power plant. Addressing journalists ahead of the 44th convocation of the university, the vice chancellor, Professor Iyutaku Yogumbodedi, says the power project will save the university of between 35 to 65 million naira paid monthly on energy. Professor Ijitoko Yogumbodedi says the project is 85% completed and will benefit neighboring communities. The date now of completion is December uh, this year. In fact, as far as that point, if you walk around campus, you see that the mounting of the electric poles had uh, already commenced. You know, you will see that there are evidence of mounting the electric poles and everything. The materials are already here in the country. Some are already, you know, at the site. He commended the National Universities Commission on its efforts, particularly on the recent discovery of fake professors. It, it's not going to be surprising to anybody, you know, if you have fake professors because we have fake lawyers. So, so I won't be surprised if you have fake professors and NUC saying that a fake professor is not a surprise to anybody. But what I can tell you is that it will surprise me if you have a fake professor at Obafemi Awolowo University. He said the era of irregular academic activities is gone, urging graduates of the university to remain focused. 7,209 degrees will be awarded for both undergraduate and postgraduate programs at the 44th Convocation Ceremony. Rafiul Hamid, CBC News, Ilaife.